a movie theater charges $10.50 per ticket and $5 per bucket of popcorn. You never buy the popcorn because you think it's too expensive. Is the total price you pay proportional to the number of tickets you buy? All right, this is interesting because they tell us the price of a popcorn. They tell us the price of a bucket of popcorn, but then they tell us that we never buy the popcorn. So I guess I don't know why they even told us what the price is, maybe to confuse us. So is the total price you pay proportional to the number of tickets you buy? Well, you're only buying tickets. You're not going to be buying any popcorn. So yeah, you're going to spend $10.50 for every ticket. So it should be proportional. And just to see that a little bit clearer, let's draw, let's draw a little table here. So number of tickets, number of tickets, and then price, the total price. We're assuming I never buy the popcorn. So if I buy one ticket, the price is going to be $10.50. If I buy two tickets, it's going to be two times 1050 or 21 dollars. $21. If I buy three tickets, it's going to be three times 1050, which is what 3150. 3150. And so you can see the ratio between price and price and number of tickets of tickets. It's always going to be 1050. 1050 divided by 1, 21 divided by 2, 3150 divided by 3. It's always going to be 1050. Well, that's because the price, I'll put it another way, the price is just going to be 1050, 1050 times the number of tickets. Number of tickets. Number of tickets. So clearly a proportional relationship.